baseball is a sport built off failure, but just to stay mentally tough is how you're supposed to keep going. He came to me and said, Dad, I want to start working out before school. Okay, you'll have to get up at 4.30 in the morning. And he said, I'll do it. Once he put on the uniform and was on the field, he took off and he's never looked back. You know, kids like that have natural ability and it's a lot easier to coach kids with natural ability. It's perfect. My name is Kate Aaron Beatty and I play baseball. Let's go. Keep down. Me and my dad, we try to uh, hit four or five times a week and we'll throw in some catching too, but that varies when he travels out of town. Kate and I have spent a lot of time together, and even when I travel out of town, we, we spend a lot of time on the phone talking through things. We look at videos together. What I love about baseball is just the competitiveness and the atmosphere and the people that you meet. After that, right, we'll go through, we'll start out with 40 pounds and move our way up. I typically wake up around 4.30, and I try to get to Cisco by 5 a.m. and work out from 5 to 6 a.m. He does a great job of developing a program for the specific sport and the specific athlete. Uh, for like my catching, we have a good split between like arms, legs, and conditioning. Um, I'll get in to his place, I'll do some stretching, and then that will move into some weightlifting, and then end it off with conditioning. Really helps like staying physical and staying strong, and like we'll be in the middle of the summer having to play four or five games a day, and it'll just keep me strong, and keep me going throughout the whole day so I don't get tired, don't get worried. Time. So lie down, number 20 second hold, hands over, not under, right feet elevated. So don't forget to bridge up first, squeeze the backside, hips up, hold, 20 seconds. The strength that I'm adding on helps me throw harder, helps me hit harder, run faster, just really enhances my game. Squeeze armpit, squeeze elbow. 10 seconds, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, give me six. I coached Cade on our 16-year-old uh, scout team. Cade's always been a good athlete. Even when he first came at 11 years old, you knew he had the tools to play. Cade understands how to fail. You know, he bounces back from failure because this game's a game of failure. And, He's a lot different. He's very mature for his age. I mean, he's always played up since 11 years old. We've always played him up, and he understands failure. When he overcomes failure like that, that gives him a big advantage to the rest of his peers. Hey, less is more. Less is more. There you go. Just sit on it. There you go. I play catcher. Catching is different than any other position because not only are you involved in every single play, but you have complete field view and you're an extension of the coach. You have to stay active in every single pitch and you can't take a pitch off. You have to really be like the general of the field and just take charge and really just lead your team. Gotta have a lucky item in the bag. My, my pink llama queso gives me good luck. Gives me like plus 10 power. A catcher has got to know exactly what's going on all the time. You got to be in every play. You're touching the ball every play. You got to know your, you have a feel for your pitchers. You got to know where your, your fielders are set up. And so this is an area that I think Cade excels in. Cade's love for baseball started at a very early age. I grew up playing baseball myself. And um, like most kids, we had a bat in his hand when he was two. But by the time he was four or five, he was really developing and, and showing potential. Baseball is, is the biggest love, um, and he works hard, and he's a good teammate, he's an encourager. But I would say what makes his mother really proud is his determination and focus, his confidence. He, he works. He works hard in everything he does. The true love probably started around nine when he got into travel baseball. And he was very blessed to have some really good coaches uh, that really strive to teach the game. And so 
I think his love started then. And as he continued to get older, I knew that he was really serious about the game. I gave a lot of credit to my husband. Once we saw that Cade fell in love and really wanted to learn, and he did at an early age, Steve worked with him. I can't even tell you how many times working, um, getting, developing that work ethic, mechanics. Being able to surround myself around such good people and such caring people is just really motivates me to do uh, the best that I can. I stay motivated through just competitiveness. I'm a competitor and I love to compete against high level and that really motivates me to do my best and I'm inspired by the people I surround myself with who um, have the same goals as me and want to achieve great things. That really motivates and inspires me to just be the best version of myself I can be. Kate is, is a good person, like I said, Kate has a great heart. Um, he gets that from his mother and I think that he wants to be most like her in that way, her heart and her compassion for people. Uh, mixing that up. Looks uh, fattening. Huh? <laughs> Doesn't it look fattening? Oh, it's definitely fattening, <laughs> but you know, calories equal gains. Right. So gotta eat. Family comes first. We work together, we help each other, we encourage each other, we um, forgive each other. And that overflows to, you know, it, people he interacts with on the baseball field. In school, one day he'll be working. You know, it's um, being respectful of others. For someone looking to start baseball, the biggest thing I could say is just have fun. Have fun and take it slow. The baseball journey is one of the best and most fun experiences life has to offer. And just taking it slow and really enjoying all the valuable moments is just really big. Cade's accomplishments, where he, where he is now, it came from just um, determination and, and goal setting. Cade determined a long time ago that he wants to be great at this game. He wants to be remembered. He tells me quite often, Dad, when I walk down the street, I want people to know who I am. He sets goals and he strives for those goals, and when he achieves those goals, he sets new goals. Like some personal goals I have is just continuing to develop, getting stronger, getting faster, and just really focusing on my game and how I can develop for the future. Stay away, let's go. Get your work in. Let's go 10 more and you're good. We'll go live and then we're done. There you go. No days off means never taking anything for granted. Every day is a gift. I see that in Cade because he remains focused every day. He works out, he does his drills, he goes to school, he takes care of his homework. No days off is working hard every day, never giving up. <laughs>